goddesses and gods. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I wanted to uh, speak a little bit more about the mother-child bond and as well as do a healing meditation for all of us to um, to really help um, heal any effects that might have happened if that bond was threatened in any way or even if it had been severed. And the reason I think this is so important is because throughout my entire healing process, I've, I've found that um, a lot of the issues I have, it keeps going back to what happened to me as a child in which um, that bond was very threatened on a daily basis and was eventually just outright severed by outside forces. And um, what happened to me is it, I developed a lot of issues because of it, but one of them was it's made it really hard for me to feel safe enough to receive. So to receive love, to, to even receive um, even like material things. But, but it's easier to, you know, I, I've been working through this now for years. It's, it's easy for me now to receive material things or to receive money but it's still difficult to receive love or nurture and to feel safe enough to to um, allow that in and I imagine that most of us who have had those issues we probably all had something happened with the mother-child bond like maybe we were adopted or created through surrogacy or um, we had a lot of trauma in our childhood a lot of um, domestic violence or things that just really threaten that relationship and because of that if that bond is broken um, what tends to happen is you not only energetically disconnect from your mom but you also energetically disconnect from yourself so it's almost like you know you're you're so connected to your mom um, because she creates you and gives birth to you and you're supposed to stay energetically connected to her um, that's how moms know you know, moms and babies have a psychic connection, and that's how a mom will just, she just knows her child's hungry, you know, she just knows exactly what her child needs all the time because they have this psychic connection as well as a very strong energetic connection going on between the two of them. And um, so what happens if those two are separated? You not only energetically disconnect from each other, you also disconnect from yourself. And I think a lot of this is because when we're babies and children, we we don't understand that we're separate human beings from our mom. Like we really think up until we're, we're teenagers that we really are just like one entity, that there's no separation between the two, that we're not in two separate bodies. So if something like happens to your mom, like if she passes away, I think a lot of times if, if um, you're a young child, you don't understand she's separate from you, so you think you died too, so you completely shut down and um, almost, it's almost like you're dead as well because you don't understand you're separate from her. And I think this happens when children are separated as well through like adoption because um, in the eyes of the baby, it's like the mom died, so the baby just kind of assumes they died too because you don't realize you're two separate people until um, when, when you start to become a teenager, you know, that's why we rebel and get all crazy because we're realizing we're this other person we're like oh my god I have to find my identity and stuff but I think up until that point you you really don't get it that you're you're separate so so I guess that's important to keep in mind that if something happened that disrupted that um, you probably didn't realize that it was just maybe happening to your mom it was also happening to you so to, to focus on healing that as well um, so, so what happens if that, okay, so I think, um, the reason if that bond is disrupted, it can make it really difficult for you to receive love. And I think so much of it is because, you know, your mom is the first person you ever have a relationship with ever out of everyone on the planet. You know, I mean, you have this crazy relationship with her that's so unique that you'll never have with anyone else. I mean, she created you inside her body. Like, you lived inside her body. Like, that is insane. Like, you're never going to experience that with someone else. And, you know, it's your first time being in love. It's your first time being in a love relationship. So, it's no wonder that 
what happens with that um, wouldn't strongly affect the rest of your life because if if that's the first time you experience being in love and your heart is open and then something happens where you know you're you're taken away from your mom and you don't see her again or you don't see her for a really long time you know it's gonna break your heart and it'll probably set it up it might cause patterns and for the rest of your life where then you know you you can't receive love or you don't feel safe to be in love because your heart's just gonna get broken because this was your first experience so this is like the presidents for the rest of you know your relationships and if that's what happened there then you know what might happen later on <clears throat> so you know I think you just assume that it's gonna keep happening um, so I think it's important to to understand why this relationship is is so powerful and also why it can be really challenging because it's so different than any other relationship but then we try to make it seem like it's the same as a relationship with your dad or with um, another authority figure or with a best friend or a boyfriend or whatever but it's not it's it's so different and unique that it's no wonder it can be very challenging for both people <laughs> you know um, and I think just to recognize that also probably helps a lot with healing that this is a completely different relationship than anything else so to look at it like that when you go through healing it um, and addressing it so so, okay, so let's do, I wanted to do a, a meditation to help all of us heal this, this relationship, this bond, to heal if it affected us in any way that made us feel like we, um, we can't receive love or it's not safe to be loved or nurtured or it's not safe to receive even like material things like a new car or, you know, that that house you've been dreaming of or receive even like you know going to the mall and buying new clothes you feel like you can't even give that to yourself or receive nourishing food so it can it can extend out to a bunch of different things not just love but um so I wanted to to focus on healing that and um yeah okay so let's start so, and also if you ever do this meditation and you want to hold space for all those kids out there who maybe right now are going through this and they're, they feel really scared and they were separate from their mom or they had that bond, it's being threatened and they, they're shutting down because of it, you know, we can always just envision them being just encased in lots of love and light and being safe and being energetically connected to their mom as well as reconnected to themselves and really being healed and whole and complete and we can always hold space and tension for them as well because they might be little kids right now so they might not be able to access my YouTube channel um, and watch this video so we can do that for them okay so so let's all go into a deep meditation